Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We are in Fulton, Texas this morning. The sun is up. It's just hiding behind some clouds for a little bit. Probably pop out in a few minutes. It's a nice calm day. Virtually no wind. I woke up around 4 a.m. and there was a pretty good breeze, but got down here by the water. 6.56, so actually the sun officially rose about 20 minutes ago. It's not bad. This is uh, one of my favorite spots along the beach. They've built up a lot of uh, shell. Good morning. A lot of shell and sand to fight against the next surge we may have. It's still early in the season for hurricanes and tropical storms. Fish jumping. Did we see that? Or did just I see that? There he is. There's two. Give us one more, buddy. One more. Come on. You got it in you. No? Playtime's over, huh? <laughs> if you guys get a chance, say a prayer for our friend Greg. Greg's ridden along with me, making many videos, and uh, he's in the hospital right now. He sent me a text yesterday to let me know. I check in with Greg about once a week and then five days later I'll get an answer from him and <laughs> once a month once every two months Greg will come on a little ride with us when he's allowed but Greg's a really good guy so keep him in your thoughts and prayers there was an accident yesterday at the Corpus Christi ship channel uh, early reports say a tanker collided with a pleasure boat and they had pictures of the boat and there wasn't much left of it they recovered one body and there was this is as of last night when I went to bed uh, recovered one body and uh, oh, it's gorgeous they were still searching for a body. And at one point, they had shut down the ship channel. I don't know if it's opened again today or not. That's a lot going on all at once. Come on, sunshine. Look who decided to pay us a visit. There's the sun. We can uh, start our day. I've been getting requests from Luciano the last few days for uh, Sonic Ice. Sonic the burger place. They have, I guess it's called Pebble Ice. I think you can get a bag, a 10 pound bag for about three bucks. That's his uh, ice of preference. Not the dollar 10 pound bag, a block from where he sleeps at night. <laughs> but Sonic. $3 a bag, probably two miles from where he sleeps at night. Welcome to Rockport, Texas, where we cater to those less fortunate than us. Here's a fish jumping again. Over at Rockport Beach now. I also want to mention that uh, yesterday, former President Donald Trump had an assassination attempt on his life. Fortunately, he was grazed with a bullet instead of one taking him out directly. And unfortunately, people attending the rally, uh, as of right now, one person was wounded and one person was deceased on the scene. Fortunately, there were some medical doctors in the crowd 
who attempted to give assistance. And the shooter was killed almost instantly, which is a shame because I really would have liked to see the shooter questioned. And by the time you see this, we'll probably have more information. But please don't leave any nasty remarks either way. I immediately online saw the experts with conspiracy theories. And by experts, I mean people on Facebook. I did see this morning that President Biden did talk directly to former President Trump. And that really surprised me. And we'll leave that at that for now. Rockport Harbor. 7:25 a.m. See, we got a little bit of a breeze over here, but my buddy Brad that comes to visit wouldn't be happy. Brad needs waves. I like waves too. Very relaxing the sound. Apparently, there's a enough wind to move those banners, but not enough wind to move the water. And that usually means we have a better chance of mosquitoes, so that's no fun whatsoever. But we have been getting some absolutely gorgeous skies. Look at that. Good morning, people. Welcome to my world. Won't you come on in? <laughs> that was an oldie but a goodie until, until I sang it. So why didn't the orange win the race? Why didn't the orange win the race? Didn't have enough juice. Did not have enough juice. <laughs> well, when I was over at the harbor, I spotted Luciano and I said, how are you doing today? And he said, well, I, I have no ice. And I said, well, what do you think we could do about that? And he said, would you go get me some ice? And I said, yes. <laughs> so we went to Sonic. Isn't that weird? We were just talking about that. And we have some ice for Luciano now. Good morning, Luciano. Good morning. I know you just got here, so I hate to bother you. Hey, my maiden voyage. Yeah. For this one. What do you think now? It's getting better and easier to maneuver now. But I guess it's because of all the weight I have on it. Yeah, if you could lighten it a little bit. Yeah, it seems to be get, settling a little bit better. Maybe we could put some things in the storage unit. What are you talking about, Dennis? Well, maybe we could just throw it away then. Are you mad? You know how hard <laughs> I went to look for all this stuff? People <laughs> even brought me five gallon containers, free of charge. I paid seven bucks for the ones I have on board. <laughs> so, what's for breakfast today? Well, for the birds, it's their ramen as always. For me, well, I sort of forgot the potatoes because I thought it was going to be raining the whole week. Yeah. And it, I checked the thing. They expect no rain for the until Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. If it had been Sunday, I would have ended up at that... Uh, the donut place. It's Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah, I thought so. It so, felt like a Sunday because there was no one around. Oh, all right, I got up at 5 o'clock. And by 6, I was on the road. Room. So we got you ice. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Aren't, aren't you going to eat? Aren't you making eggs today? Yeah, scrambled eggs. With what? Tomato sauce. I've never had that. What? Yeah. In all your time, what, well, don't tell me, you do the poached egg and so forth? No. No, I just never had tomato sauce with egg. Maybe when I was younger, I put ketchup on eggs. That's about uh, it. Or salsa. Too salty. But 
I don't know. I think that this Nancy person changed me a bit. She didn't like salt, so I didn't put salt on our food. Yeah. And even though sometimes I uh, taunted her with uh, salt. Yeah. Uh, look how much salt I'm putting on my food. It goes she didn't uh, do the salt thing, and I guess I sort of forget to put salt on my stuff from now on. Well, that's I haven't good. done it in some time. That's good. Salt's not good for you. Yeah, but I like salt. Yeah, that's true. It prevents the cramps and, well, but that's only if you're working like a dog every day. Hmm. Hey! Nah, it won't work. I keep thinking, there's got to be a way to pull it around. And I'm okay. Okay. Got pick, I got that, uh... Oh yeah, from the shopping cart. I took it apart and these were the things holding those tires in the bottom and I cut it up this morning and I'm gonna use it for my firewood. Nice. Very nice. Yep. Well, I... my, everything is on there. I mean, those uh, two dollies, I mean, that dolly I bought for 20 bucks at Walmart. Yeah. I put it on there too. It's easier than dragging it behind me and constantly tripping on the line. And that other plastic dolly, I put it down there. I took yeah. the tires off and put it down there. The only plastic dolly I know is Dolly Parton. She's not plastic. She's all real. Mm, no, not anymore, no. <laughs> uh, I still love her no matter I what. love her too. She's awesome. She's had a lot of plastic surgery, admitted Yeah, I always dreamt of marrying her when I grew up. Eventually, I will grow up. <laughs> <laughs> well... I'm going to let you get to cooking. Okay. All right. Thanks for talking Thank to you. us. You have a good day. Well, that's pretty zen. I was here watching the dolphins and watching boats go by and watching fishermen. And along comes a paddleboarder, which I think is very cool. I couldn't stand up on that thing if it was on land. See if the dolphins come over to check them out if they're curious as to what is going on. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for riding along today. Thanks for watching.